General Motors expected to announce its first promising earnings report since getting a $50 billion bailout from the government. A bailout, GM says, it will start paying back at the end of this year. But some critics are wondering whether GM's investments in China are coming at the expense of jobs right here in the U.S. Our senior White House correspondent, Jake Tapper, is traveling with the president in Shanghai. This morning in Shanghai, the Communist Party secretary told President Obama that for General Motors' Chinese operations, sales are fantastic, a boost to GM in the U.S. GM is an American company with tens of thousands of employees in this country. And responsibility for its future ultimately rests with us. Some critics wonder if GM is not focusing enough on the U.S., especially after GM CEO Fritz Henderson announced plans to send cash from GM's U.S. accounts, which have received $50 billion in government aid, to help restructure a European unit. Said Henderson, we certainly need to be prudent about it, be very careful about it, but we do have the ability to run a global business. It means, in essence, U.S. taxpayer dollars would help shore up jobs overseas at the same time GM is cutting tens of thousands of American jobs. Raising eyebrows. It's not wise or helpful that our taxpayer dollars are being used to support uh, the global efforts of these companies. And outraging some members of Congress. I don't think most Americans believe that when the tax payer bailouts were happening, it was intended for that purpose. It was intended to protect the American economy, not take the money overseas. In a statement, a GM spokesman says the best way for the company to ultimately repay taxpayers is to be strong internationally. Quote, as much as some people might wish that it were not so, the reality is that the auto industry is global and no company can survive without a strong global presence. Any dream of a U.S. only car maker is just that, a dream. GM is trying to make a profit. They know best how to do that. We should not uh, infringe upon their decision making. They might legally have the right to do this, but politically and from an optics perspective, I can't imagine a more boneheaded move. This controversy comes at the same time as a government accountability office study that indicates it's unlikely taxpayers will recoup all of their $50 billion investment in General Motors. GM is announcing today that they will begin repaying $1 billion per quarter beginning in December.